Are you looking to set up your digital assets? Do you want more people to wear your own swag and your own merchandise inside the metaverse? Then this video is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Creative, and in this video series, I'm gonna be walking you through steps to setting up your Ready Player Me application. We'll talk about setting up your assets, setting up your player, importing your player inside the metaverse, and lastly, setting up your studio in your website for everybody to use. If you're ready, let's begin. Welcome back to part three of this video series. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to create and set up your avatar with your new assets, be able to take your avatar into the metaverse using spatial.io, and I'm gonna show you guys an awesome trick that you don't wanna miss of embedding your studio into your website. All right, now that you are done configuring your assets, um, you can quickly just go ahead and hit the view in app. And what that's going to open up is going to open up a new tab and then you're going to be able to see uh, your merchandise uh, or sorry, your merchandise, your assets that you created. So here's uh, the top that we created. Um, here's different. Here's different assets that I created. Here's a new one that we just added. So he's wearing this one ready to go. And then, uh, you know, the different pants. So you can go ahead and, and style them. Now, this is just for for preview for you to see um, how it looks like. Now, if you want to do this uh, and actually create an avatar, you can go ahead and select here and select sign in, and then you'll be able to sign into to your account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in into this, and I'm going to actually go ahead and create a, a new avatar. So I'll go through this process so you guys get to see how it looks like from start to finish. Um, we're going to give this guy the new coat, and um, we're going to go ahead and um, so here's the new shoes. I'm going to go with one of the ones I created previously, which I really like, uh, which are these, I think these are sweet. And uh, let's switch the, the pants to the Nike pants. So he's wearing the top. Uh, we actually went with these shoes, but I think they looks good. So this guy looks, <laughs> looks good. I'm not going to do too much adjustments to his style since um, I want to make sure that this is a kind of a, a quick tutorial. So you guys get to see how it looks like. So we're just going to give him this look and feel so this is this is my guy right now he's <laughs> he's ready to hit the metaverse um next we're gonna go ahead and hit next um like i said this is some of the comp the configurations that we ended up setting up uh previously um so i'm just gonna hit exit and i think he is now saved so i think he's ready to go now um and what i can do is go back to ready player me and i can go inside my my hub and <laughs> there's my guy ready to go already so you can see that this is the avatar it's already set now if you've been using ready player me you know that you can use these avatars in different uh metaverses you have moniverse uh you have spatial which is which is my favorite and, and other ones and as you can see, your application is now going to be a part of my avatar. So I've created previously some of them, but here's 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 the guy that I've already set up. You can see him here ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to get this uh, avatar inside spatially. So you guys get to see how you can actually see your your avatar dressed up in, in your clothes and in your swag and your assets. So we're going to actually head over to spatial next. All right, I am now logged into Spatial and I'm gonna show you how you can uh, tap into your uh, assets um, for your application. So what we're easily gonna do is go ahead and hit the menu, hit your profile. And what I'm gonna do is select edit and I'm gonna select this pencil here and it's gonna open up in a, um, in a metaverse environment uh, real quick for us to be able to edit him. So we'll let this load. All right, so now it's prompt us up with the screen. So what we're going to do is select this pencil here. And what's really nice, what Spatial has done is kind of pretty much opened it up for other avatars or other application avatars that you create 
uh, for you to be able to use them. So Spatial obviously gives you the ones that you created inside Spatial within their application. But if you hit this tab, all avatars, it allows you to tap into your Ready Player Me for you to select the different avatars that you created. And look, here's the avatars that we have uh, with our gear. And we're going to be looking for the new guy, <laughs> which is him. Um, so he's he's set. So once you click them um, again, you can go ahead and modify it. Now we're inside Spatial Studio. So, you know, right now, if we click out, uh, he's not going to he's going to lose his gear and what he has. So all we're going to do is just hit next. We're going to keep his gear ready to go. And then from there, he's <laughs> He's inside your metaverse, uh, rocking your assets that you created or imported uh, in, in there for you. All right, our player is set up. He's got his whole entire outfit that we set up ready to go. And uh, he is ready to uh, hit the metaverse and uh, go cruise around. But. Um, I want to show you guys this one cool thing uh, that you guys can do, and it's to add um, your studio to your website. So if you go to creativeowls.io and you go to view community and you go to create an avatar, I have been able to embed my uh, my studio um, and allowed me to go ahead and make it easier for people to create their own avatars. So they don't have to try to find my, my subdomain. It's already built into into my website um, and, and allows them for them to easily create their avatars on the fly uh, and then save them and uh, save their gear and then go ahead and create it. And then it'll show up inside their uh, Ready Player Me uh, hub for their avatars. So obviously you're not going to see Creative Owls unless you create it inside the studio. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually create it, embed this into your website, which I think is going to be a very, uh, very cool feature that I recommend you doing it um, because it's going to allow you if you're creating events, uh, if you're creating uh, gatherings, uh, if you want to add people, get more people to wear your merchandise, you definitely want to have this available um, on your website or uh, be able to send the, the domain link. Now, the domain link um, so you guys get to see it is you can find it inside your studio and it's going to be right here, which is creative out. So if you can just click this, this will take them, prompt them for them to create their avatar. And this is how you would start the process of them wearing uh, their gear. Now you can either send them off or you can embed this inside, um, you know, their their application. So the way that you do this, I'll show you guys uh, the, the code and I'll put the code inside the, the comments so you guys can see. And I think there's some documentation on this. Uh, it's a documentation. I think it's web uh, web integration. So inside their documents, they have this web integration where you can add your studio in there and it gives you an example code for you to put in. And uh, I'll put this link inside the, the comments so you guys can see and just copy. And this is the, the exact uh, code snippet that you would need to copy and paste um, if you were creating like a straight HTML page. But if you're using like Wix, WordPress, only thing you need to do is copy from the iframe all the way down to the bottom of the script because you want that iframe to pull in. You want that script to pull in as well, too. So you want to be able to pull all this in. And you're going to copy and the thing that you're going to change so you guys are aware is this part where it says subdomain you want to replace this with your custom subdomain so obviously you know mine's is creative out so i would change it in here i'll show you how it looks like in here so i'm going to go into my page i'm going to go inside my code and i'm using wordpress i'm using divi themes so you guys know how it looks like and I, I went ahead and copied and I pasted it in here. Now I did adjust the iframe by adding it um, a, a max height, uh, max width. I should put a percent, but whatever. <laughs> and then I changed the subdomain to be creative out. So it knows to pull in my subdomain. And this is all the rest of the, uh, the code that's in there that you guys saw that from that documentation. So once I hit save, it's gonna automatically load my domain and 
my studio for people to go ahead and create their avatars using um, my application. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. But wait, if you're going to be using a studio, let me know. Reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, or put in the comments the URL of your studio. I want to see what you guys have created. And you never know. I could be rocking your digital assets next.